Hey, it's Reverend David and Pilot the dog. We've been out of the building a little while now. Pilot, oof, Pilot the lap dog. And uh, so we're touring around to different areas of the building that we don't usually get into. But today is a day, Pilot, that you cannot come with me for because we are going up and into the organ loft. And the church has a very, very strict no dogs on the roof rule. So I'm leaving Terry's office right now. We're at the back of Pennington Center where our offices are. And we're headed right now through the door and up the stairs. Come on up. These are the back stairs that go down to the garden room, now the dance school, and that go up, which is where we're headed, to the second floor of Pennington, which is currently a preschool. We'll pause to admire the new window. Very nice. School. Because, here we go, we're walking down the second floor of Pennington Center. You can see that the same AC that's being installed on the lower floor is getting installed up here too. And in fact, since we're here, right up there is where the AC is going through the roof to a rooftop unit that hasn't been installed quite yet. So we're headed down the hall here because to access the organ loft, we have to go out onto the roof of Pennington Center, climb an exterior ladder up the side of the old building, and then go into the organ loft. So we start opening up the storage closet. So here's our ladder up and out onto the roof of Pennington Center. I'm gonna put you in my shirt pocket. You can get the live camera view here of the climb. This ladder is actually new since last time. I've only been up here once before and there was a much more rickety wooden ladder. But here we go, I've just opened the doors and we're gonna head out onto the roof. Let's see if we can do this without too much injury to self. So this entryway that I'm crawling through now, I mean, these doors are like two and a half feet high or something, three feet high. But check out where we are. We are up and on the roof in this funny little space next to the old building. Here's the rose window on the side of the chancel in the sac sacristy. So when I sit behind the lectern on a Sunday morning when we're in purpose, in purpose, in person, and united in purpose. I am down there at that angle, about 30 feet, 20 feet. This is the doorway and the ladder that leads up and into the organ loft where the pipes are. That's where we're going. But before we go up there, let's take a look on the roof of Pennington Center. I'm going to put you into shirt cam mode again. You can't always feel this from the inside of the building. Sometimes you can. But what I really like being up here is you get a much clearer sense of how these two buildings were sort of grafted together when they were built. So here's our sanctuary from 1929 to 1931. It was built. And there you can see the new windows. They look so good. Uh, when this was added, when Pennington Center, where we're standing right now, was added in the early 1960s, it was added on. So a, a few things that are neat to see here, you can see where the top of an old window was bricked over. You can still see the shape and you can imagine that extending downwards, extending all the way down to the ground where there was a side door. Over here, similarly, you can see that before this was built, this bricked up door was the organ access. And you'd actually come through an attic at the top of the stairs there, and then out the door through this up to the organ loft. This thing I'll show you on the roof is, I am fairly certain, 
not especially exciting, but so awesome. This is where the rooftop air conditioning units are going when they go in. So these units, the unit that comes in here is gonna supply the air conditioning into the second floor of Pennington Center, which is a beast during the summer, just an absolute beast. Now back this way to my right is uh, what used to be Fen House and is now a private residence. But I wanna show you this. We're now looking in the stairwell that I came up before. So when we started, we got off one floor below where we are now, but uh, Pennington Center was designed, I don't know if this is what the absolute final design was, so that you could add another story onto it at some point. And this uh, stairwell extending all the way up here was both so that you could have access to the third floor of uh, Fen House, the house next door that's attached, but also potentially, maybe, that you could have access to the roof here. So, uh, I don't know, if you ever want to start a small farm on a roof, you get a good spot for it. So we're coming back over now, coming back, because the next thing we're doing is going up and into the organ loft. So here you go into shirt cam mode again. Idea. So I'm opening, and I have to think that this enclosure was not even original. I have to think that originally, this was just an exterior ladder that you climbed up uh, in the storm, in the snow or whatever. So we are going, we are going to that door right up there. All right, here we go. This is one of the many reasons Pilot was not allowed to come on this. I think Pilot, is not great on a ladder. Uh, I am also not great on a ladder. Uh, but here we go. All right, ladder, still firmly attached, still feeling good. All right, did you make it? I made it. Uh, all right, we got our key. Hey, here. We go. We're gonna go onto this ladder and we're gonna go down and around and into the organ itself. So here we go in. Swinging around to the ladder. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a small person. <laughs> space. Ah, there's exactly room for one David to squeeze through. Uh-oh. No, there isn't. Ugh. Ugh. Man, quarantine has not been kind. To the waistline. All right. This is the Oregon. Here we are in this thing. And it's like its own maze. So... These big pipes here, these big metal pipes, this is where the air is coming from way down in the organ blower in the basement, this huge fan. And it's coming up and then shuttling through and between all of these different pipes all over the place. Here, we've got some of the electronics behind it. So this bundle of wires, this control system goes down down, 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 and connects into the organ console itself, which is um, uh, how the signal gets from the console up into the organ. When it was originally created, it must have been all mechanical, but somewhere around the year 2000, there was a major organ repair and overhaul. The organ moved to its, so the, the console moved to its current position. Let's right. take a step up. Let me find something that's, actually, I'm gonna put you back on short cam mode and see if I can grab only stable things. Got it? Because, here we go. Rank by rank of our organ, including more and more, the little pipes, the higher registers, 
snaking through all of it is the, uh, the tubing that carries the air from one place to another. And where we are right now, let me see if I can give you a better sense. Can you see where we are? We are looking through the windows down across the sanctuary and into Hall Chapel. I hope that comes out on the video. This place is a maze. Over there are some of the bigger pipes. There are wires all around me. This is not made for a person my size. I think organ creation is not a, a David-sized occupation. We'll come back down again and see if I can get up to the next level up above us. So that roof up there, if you follow everything all the way up, that's probably a good 20 feet up above my head right now. And you can see that there are these different planks and these are walkways. These are the ladders and the walkways that I am not going on. Uh, that give you access to, I mean, a whole nother level of this instrument that's way up there. So that's the organ loft. It is this incredible uh, mixture of modern or relatively modern and really old technology. I mean, stuff that was probably cutting edge in 1931, but these instruments are centuries old and they're still working by the same principles, blowing air through all of these different ranks of pipes, different shapes and different materials in the pipe, giving a different sound to the organ. This is from a, a past uh, organ repair person. Unitarian valves. Squeezing back through again. We're gonna go up and out. Ooh. This is a tight squeeze, guys. And around and back out again. So we're back down again now at the bottom of the ladder to the bell tower at the junction of Pennington Center and the old building, the 1931 building, looking up again at the rose window over the north side of the chancel. Thanks for coming along on this tour. This is definitely one of the least seen areas of the building, so it's really fun to get to bring you along and bring you up there and uh, convince myself that I don't need to make that climb again anytime soon.